Welcome to the mysterious, bittersweet yet the electrifying universe of Guilty Gear, where the clash of metal meets the magic of the arcane, setting the stage for tales of valor, betrayal and the quest for identity. Amidst this cacophony of chaos and melody, we find Axel Lowe, whose story is as unique as his fighting style. Picture this, a long-haired Brit with the heart of a pacifist and the soul of a fighter armed with chain sickles and trapped in the currents of time. I'm Arcane out here and just like we have explored through the stories of Zato 1, Asuka Kreutz, Johnny, Alfeld Valentine and Eba, today we are diving deep into the captivating odyssey of Axel Lowe, one of the original cast of the Guilty Gear roster. From his beginnings in the streets of 20th century London to his bizarre time-jumping battles across the Guilty Gear series, We'll unravel the story of Axel Lowe, the time-traveling rocker whose quest for peace and love defies the very fabric of reality. Not much, no problem even if the world doesn't change. I'm a clown that don't have shades. My boss was the out of the First introduced in 1998 with the first Guilty Gear title, Axel Law quickly stood up with his unique character design and compelling backstory. Sporting a look that screams Guns N' Roses vibes with long blonde hair and attire that seems to draw equal inspiration from classic British punk music, Axel's visual identity was striking and different from the rest of the roster. Born into the East End of London in the 20th century, Axel Law wasn't just another face in the crowd, he was a youth with a heart too big for the violent world he was born into. Despite being desensitized to the violence that was as common as the air he breathed, Axel harbored a deep hatred for it. Yet his compassionate nature didn't deter him from stepping into the fray. On the contrary, it propelled him. Axel wasn't just fighting, he was basically striving for peace, a peace he achieved not through the might of his chain sickle called Kusarigama but through the strength of his resolve and charm. And within a half year, Axel did the impossible. He cleansed his neighborhood of violence. Although the people around him believed that Axel loved to be weird, somehow everyone always ended up on his side in the end including Megumi. And Axel was in love with Megumi, a bond that seemed to destine to weather the storms of their chaotic world. They quickly fell in love and swore their futures to one another, throwing away their old lives and names. However, the fate had other plans. On May 14, 1998, Axel suddenly disappeared, without saying a word to anyone. He never came back, no cop or journalist could ever tell why and how, and Megumi made herself a promise that she would never forget her memories with Axel, as he was in a different time, in a different era. As Axel was caught in a time slip, hurling him 200 years into the future, three years after the Crusades, the war between the mankind and the Gears. This twist of fate transformed Axel from a local hero to a temporal anomaly, a possibility spun from a fractured timeline whose very existence was tied to the whims of the universe. Finding himself in the year 2178, before the events of the first Guilty Gear. It was around that time Axel's quest for a way back home began, and despite his efforts, the path back to his time and to his love Megumi seemed out of reach. It was during this time of despair that Axel heard the rumors of a fighting tournament offering the winner whatever they wished for. Seizing this glimmer of hope, Axel entered the second Holy Order selection tournament where he initially meets and fights against important figures like Soul Bad Guy and Cliff Anderson. Well, only to find himself embroiled in the resurrection of Mother of All Gears, Justice. After these events, his hope of wishing to go back home was turned out to be a disappointment, yet 
Amidst all of this chaos, the cheers of a grateful crowd offered Axel a realization, he quickly adapted to this bizarre yet mystifying world. Maybe, just maybe, he could even find peace and place for himself. However, as fate would have it, the currents of time pulled him away once more, setting the stage for his time-skipping odyssey across the Guilty Gear saga. For three years, he slips back and forth to numerous periods until the events of Guilty Gear X. In the year 2181, Axel hears the rumors about that man being a time traveler and decides to join the incident with Dizzy to investigate, while also looking for Dr. Faust in hopes of being cured. His heart is set ablaze with hopes of untangling the knotted threads of his existence. It's not just curiosity that drives Axel, it is also a desperate yearning for cure, a way to anchor himself to a single moment in time. During one of the paths of his arcade, his search eventually leads him to Faust, although Axel cleans the possibility of a cure, fate, as always, plays its cruel hand. Faust's diagnosis is as bleak as the void between times. There is simply no cure for Axel's condition. The revelation that his perpetual drift through the ages could be due to the existence of two Axels within the same time frame, sending ripples through his soul. Yet, before he can grasp the full weight of this theory, Axel is hurled through the time once again. During his other arcade route, Axel meets with Venom, who tries to recruit Axel to the organization, Anjimito, who senses an immense power within Axel, and of course, Soul Bad Guy to have a friendly match. Eventually, lost within the rifts of time, Axel finds himself even in the era of the Crusades before his actual meeting with Cliff Anderson. Not knowing Axel's true intentions, Cliff even fights against Axel, which sends Axel to a battle against Justice during the second Holy Order selection tournament. As with each fight, Axel is again hurled back and forth in time as his journey ends with a grotesque, post-apocalyptic sight. It was during the events of Guilty Gear XX where Axel's wanderings through the corridors of time led him to a fateful encounter with Eno. Unaware of her ulterior motives, Axel is drawn in by her charm, unwittingly becoming a pawn to her plans as Eno tries to lure out Soul Bad Guy to a trap. As Axel tries to reach that man for answers for his condition, Unintentionally, he also disrupts Eno's plans to fight against Sol. Feeling anger towards Axel, Eno launches a fierce attack, luring that man out of the shadows. This pivotal encounter with that man sheds lights on Axel's time slip phenomenon. So, here at this point, according to a lot of Guilty Gear fans and myself included, there is a mistranslation. That man implies Raven as an identical existence suggesting that their natural repulsion is the catalyst for Axel's temporal disarray. However, what that man actually means is, Axel's condition is quite similar to Raven's immortality as he lived throughout the centuries. However, that man also implies Axel's condition is again Axel's own fault, due to an event that hasn't happened yet. With this revelation, Axel is sucked through the time rift once again. As the events of Guilty Gear XX continue with Guilty Gear XX Accent Core, this time Axel decides to find that man to ask him for a way to return to his own period, rather than finding a cure. His search initially leads to Eno, and depending on how you manage to beat Axel's opponents, his story route also changes. Like, if you finish the battle with Axel's instant kill ability, Axel is sent back to time of the Crusades where he meets Order Soul, who happens to know Axel, unlike what happened with Cliff before. Or if you defeat Eno by normal means, Axel meets with Soul Bad Guy and continues his search for that man that, as you can guess, angers Soul Bad Guy, leading to a match between two. As Axel's complex story continues with player's way of defeating Axel's opponents, at one point Axel even encounters himself from a different timeline, who says he will get his happy ending as long as he doesn't give up. 
Of course, in response to that, Axel asks himself if he will ever see Megumi again. Receiving no answer. This layered narrative of Axel is eventually marked by his confrontation with Crow of the Postwar Administration Bureau, who tries to capture him with a justice copy. Depending on resisting or just running away from justice, Axel's endings are shaped. In one path where Axel resists and defeats the justice copy, he manages to slip his own timeline. Overjoyed, Axel sees Megumi and is about to greet her only to be cruelly flung through the time yet again. On the other path, Axel doesn't fight the justice copy and slips through the time again into a war zone this time. And actually it is an unknown time, maybe even an unknown multiverse, running for his life from an army that does not seem from Guilty Gear's universe. Guilty Gear Exar chapter of Axel's story unfolds in a desolate future, specifically in Babylon on October 22, 2192. It is here that Axel, ever the wanderer between the folds of time, encounters a mysterious voice, known as the original, delivering an unknown gibberish message. The original tasks Axel with delivering this message to that man. Axel finds himself thrust into yet another whirlwind of temporal turmoil, questioning how he can possibly fulfill this request when he is constantly at the mercy of his unpredictable time-slipping ability. Around that time, he shortly time-slips to October 25, 2187, ending up in Batman's Nightmare Theater. He yells for the help of the original, but only Batman shows up and almost kills him. There at that time, Axel is saved by Eno, who summons him back to 2192 again to kill him for knowing about the original. However, poor Axel says he was only told to deliver a message to that man, which Eno surprisingly agrees to help so that it might change the dull future. As Eno takes him to that man, Axel lets off a string of gibberish that neither he nor Eno understand. However, that man acknowledges his message. The original warned that man about Conclave's attempt to revive justice. As Axel's journey through the time continues, he confronts the harsh reality of his desires and the implications of his powers. Learning that Eno has also the power of time, Axel decides to find Eno to have her send him back to 1998. Meanwhile, as Eno was searching for the wandering Jacko Valentine. It is there the origin of Axel and Eno is revealed. Axel's return to 1998 would have catastrophic consequences, as the world that Axel longs for is a world untouched by the chaos of his current reality would be obliterated, becoming nothing more than another possibility in the vast multiverse if he ever goes back. Faced with a choice that feels akin to discarding a part of himself, Axel grapples with despair. It is in this moment of vulnerability, shockingly, Ina offers comfort, sharing her own experiences of manipulating reality with her powers. She presents a perspective where reality becomes malleable, subject to the whims of those who can shape it. She also extends an invitation to Axel, suggesting that if he ever tires of the burdens of honesty, he might find solace in her way of life. During the events of Guilty Gear Exile Revelator, even Soul Bad Guy asks for Exil's help in locating Elfeld Valentine. However, afraid of his own powers, Exil rejects the request of his dear friend. Here we see Exil struggling with the limits of his abilities and drowning in hesitation. However, he finds solace in Eno as he subsequently meets with her. Surprisingly, Eno really helps Axel to overcome his guilt and his concerns and tells Axel to find his own perspective. To do so, Axel also asks Batman his reasons for wanting power, understanding more and more about the events and the figures that shape this universe. However, in the end, Axel remains the same. 
he manages to protect his soft and supportive side, he chooses to remain in this current timeline and helps Sol and his team to defeat Ariels. Ultimately trying to be the man that Megumi could be proud of. He uses his powers to compress time itself and gives Sol enough time to use Dragon Install to help him merge Jack O with Justice. However, little did Exo know is that Eno also needed solace after Jacko's reveal and that man's false promises, leading to the events of Guilty Gear Strive. However, in addition to that, it is also crucial to mention that only after learning the truth from Jacko, Exil gains the ability to control time and reality. Theoretically, he can travel to any world he wishes, but choosing timelines can turn others into possibilities, thus destroying them. Also, Exil has shown the ability to compress time in a given area in which everything that occurs there happens in an instant for the rest of the world. In Guilty Gear Strive, Axel Love's journey takes a turn toward self-acceptance and understanding of his place within the current world. Following his momentous decision to remain in the timeline he's been thrust into. Axel faces the future with a newfound determination. He embarks on a quest not to reclaim his past but to forge a new path in the present. Learning to control his powers with the hope of possibility, bringing Megumi to his side without sacrificing himself. This nuanced understanding of his abilities and the acceptance of his circumstances mark a significant evolution in Exil's character. However, Exil's connection to time reveals itself in new ways, granting him premonitions of imminent danger. Drawn to a marketplace in Illyria by these visions, Axel contemplates his past and future. A merchant's wise words resonate with him, advising against getting stuck in nostalgia of what was lost and instead embracing the potential of the present. This conversation, however, is cut short by the foreboding appearance of Happy Chaos, a figure from Axel's past premonitions setting the stage for the chaos that unfolds. As Happy Chaos releases Nagoriyuki and igniting a catastrophic chain of events, Axel intervenes heroically. Using his powers to stop the time to prevent any tragedy from claiming lives. His actions drove the attention of Eno, challenging the very essence of their existences and paths. Axel's confrontation with Eno is not just a battle of powers but also their ideologies and search for their own path. As a pacifist, Axel tries to be voice of a reason but he utterly fails. As Eno's ascent to godhood begins and fights against Kai Kisk, Axel tries to bring Eno back to her senses and tries to persuade his counterpart as much as he can. As Eno is struck by Sol, Kai and Nagaryuki and utterly defeated, Exil implores her to remember something, if anything. At this moment, Eno realizes that both Exil and Eno are their lover's counterparts from alternate timelines and were destined to be together. Before her final moments and likely with the last of her power, Eno trades places with her alternate past self just as Axel said he could have done prior. With the crisis averted, Axel finds himself alone in the park as Megumi appears, relaying a message from Eno. I'm giving you my unfair way of life. You ask for this. As this might be the perfect closure to Axel Love's puzzling and bizarre odyssey, we also see Axel trying to find a cue for Nagoriyuki during his arcade story and asking Nagoriyuki if he ever would like to go back being a human again or undone the mistakes that he did. This might be related to Slayer or for their next installment but Axel seems to play a supportive role just like Slayer used to play for other figures of this universe. As the curtains close on the time-lapsing saga of Axel Lowe, we are left with a happy ending this time, hopefully. 
Throughout his odyssey, Exil grappled with the implications of his unique ability, faced adversaries of all calibers, and sought a way to adapt both his past with his present. His encounters with characters like Soul Bad Guy, Eno, Batman, and Deathman have not only challenged him, but also offered insights into the nature of his powers, improving Axel's personality, making him a dependable ally at any situation. In the end, Axel Lowe stands as a warrior whose greatest battle was with himself, and whose ultimate victory lies in the peace he has found within. His story, a blend of action, introspection and emotional depth, is one of the most genuine narrative points of Guilty Gear universe. He is not a gear, he is not a crusader, nor a vampire, nor sacrificed anything to earn power. Exil just wanted to have a peace and quiet with his beloved by his side. And finally, after years of struggles, at the end of his journey, his time seems to be moving once again. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it like you enjoyed my other story videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or to join my Discord channel. Any humble support through YouTube join or Patreon are really appreciated. I will see you soon, whether it be fighting game contents or not. Stay tuned. Hey.